Okay, this one. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six lifts. So we're gonna take this down and work it straight back up on there. Nice and simple, isn't it? Mark? It'll take us an hour. <laughs> Looks like the bill has been taking all the boards out. And he signed it. What's the initials? Oh, Graham Dyer, there he is. He's done a tidy job of that, to be fair to him. He's just got to do that one, though. Such a shame we can't just get over to it, isn't it, Steve? Oh. Fuck it. Right, so yeah, we're dropping all this just to build it straight back up over there. So we just rip the top off, right on the back of the chimney. We get all these legs out, under things out, and then we can just drop the normal tower then down from here. Right, so there we are, dropping all the rest of that tower and getting it all stacked on the floor. Uh, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it and it means a lot to us. Right, so let's get the rest done. Put it down, so I'm going to start building this. 13 foot tower, I might go in a bit just to get a little short board around there. Uh, get that built in there, then we can transfer all that kit from there. Simple, isn't it, Bert? Simple. There you go, whack the base through that. Can't carry on out and get up the top. Right, so, yeah, as I say, get these topped out and lift, 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 lift. And then I'll show you what we're doing up the top there, around the ring. Pulled all the kit up. Just pulled everything up off that tower and just stacked it all on here. Should be somewhere near what we need. It's a little bit different in a birch. Right, we've got our leg leveled up. I'm gonna run another tube in here, stick him right out, and then we can get some kind of saddle in over the roof and our board in here. Uh, I'm gonna put the drone up and put it over there somewhere, and then we can see what's going on, or well, you can see what's going on from over the other side. Right then, so here I am on the back of the chimney. So this is our saddle tube, what I'm about to put in. I've put a clip on the top end of him. So it's what I'm basically gonna do is hook that up on the ridge like I'm doing there now. Um, then I can send that down on the bottom. So yeah, I'm just about to do that. Send that down underneath the ledger that I've got coming through to hold the bottom of the tube. So now basically what I'm gonna do is put a double on the bottom there. So as I've got that tied, that tube coming across the roof tied off on something solid. Obviously the clip on the bridge is what's holding the weight at the moment. So once I've got that all tied up and done, and that's all level and where I want it on the measurement. I keep pushing that out to where I want it to be. So yeah, once I push that out to where I want it, looks like I've nearly got it there now. So yeah, here we go. So yeah, once I've got that done, I do him off on the bottom and then obviously I've got to get my board in. So yeah, the reason the board goes that way across the roof is because you don't want it going up the roof as your roof trusses go the same way as what the opposite way of what I'm doing my board so if you have it going up the roof then the battens is all what's holding the weight of the chimney so what we're doing what I'm doing there now is using that five foot tube to pull my double straight so I do it up with my drill pull the double straight makes everything easy rather than trying to struggle using your spanner um, once you've got that done you put your tube into the double and then if you pull the tube to one side or the other left or right it twists the tube so as it doesn't slip in the double and then all you do then is put you have to lean over and put your drill on it and then that do that up and it saves messing around trying to hold the weight of the tube whilst leaning down it's very difficult so yeah right what i'm doing now is i'm getting down and we'll have a look at what we're doing on the other side of the chimney so all i'm doing now is getting a measurement before i go over to the other side so i've got it all set ready to go so yeah here we are we're putting the other side of the chimney in so that is the saddle tube i'm putting in now we put that on a swivel on the ridge i wouldn't normally but i was in a bit of a rush today so we got it done so once you've got the swivel on the top you come down then same as the other side put the double on the bottom do it all up 
make sure it's all running straight and square to the roof make everything nice um, what I'm doing there now is putting a clip on so I can take my weight off that tube that's going up the roof and then I can pull it up a bit to do it up rather than putting all my weight on it and twisting the whole job out of naff it's, it's a bit of an art to these chimneys so yeah now I've got that done I'm putting my board in again same as the other side putting that underneath ideally that should have gone on the bottom of the double so as then our legs could have sat onto that but we I don't know why we did it like this but we've done it now it's done so yeah as I say same as the other side that 16s going in twist the tube hold it with one arm make everything easy for yourself don't make it difficult putting that in on the other double and lifting it up leveling them all up so yeah that's how you get the back of a chimney in all i've got left to do there now is run a tranny in and i put it onto a swivel because it's only for us to work on so run it across onto a swivel like i'm doing there now do it all up and then all i've got to do then is undersling that ledger tube or the tranny into that uh, on the clip and i haven't got to mess around using open enders and stuff so yeah obviously steve's doing the same thing on the other side because we couldn't do it before as we only had that saddle tube on a clip so steve's finishing off that side that's all looking good and we can finish the rest of the chimney right let's crack on <laughs> So this was the last of the kit we needed. We stacked it all there and the labourer can get up and pass all that up to the top. Yeah. We'll put the trap on. And the access finish. Look at the state of it. All loose. Bloody hell. It's actually really bad. <laughs> Absolutely shocking, yeah. Bad. That one looks good. And then that'll be the next one by the look. Here we are, all done. Put the saddle up in there. All round. Kit's all cleared up. Time to the pub. There's the saddle. Lovely. Let's keep going. Look at this. Cretin of a man. <laughs> 